100 feet. From the top of the wall down to the grass line is 44 feet or four stories. One lap around for the Sprint Cup cars is two and a half miles. You are looking at a 31 degree baking to my right. At the bottom of the speedway to my right, the yellow double line up to that white wall is approximately 40 feet. And about five feet from that white wall is primarily where your motorcycle racing all happens out here at speeds of about 190 miles per hour. If you and I wanted to challenge these high banks, we would have to be going at least 70 miles per hour or gravity will have a tendency to pull us down. But of course, your Sprint Cup cars will come through these turns three abreast, going over 195 miles per hour, and occasionally they will try four there. If one of those cars should happen to hit that white wall, it is called the Safer Barrier. It does stand for steel and foam energy reduction. The outside part of the wall is made out of concrete, and the blocks you see in the middle is made out of foam. So if one of those cars should happen to hit that white wall, that car will have a tendency to bounce back, and it will reduce the energy of the impact. Now at this time we are beginning to exit turn four. We're going to head down the front stretch of our speedway. And as you drove in today, you probably took notice that we are under some major construction here at the front stretch grandstand. That's because we are renovating the front stretch grandstand. Groundbreaking happened on July 5th of 2013. Completion is set up for January of 2016. We are going up much higher with the seats. Also, we are putting in all brand new seats. They will be a little bit wider. Also, each one will have a cup holder. Now, when they do complete this in 2016, from the very top of the grandstands to my right, all the way to the bottom, we're looking at about 15 stories. I'm going to have some more information about the construction towards the end of the tour. Looking out to my left-hand side, one of three of the very tall scoring towers. The top will let you know what lap the race is on. One, two, fifteen. We'll tell you the fifteen leading cars at the time. And attached to the side of it is a white rectangular frame. During events, they do install a large jumbotron, but we like to call it a big screen TV with instant replay. Sitting or standing near one of those, more than likely, you may see a lot more of the race than others. And looking straight down off to my left hand side is the beginning of Pit Road, 1600 feet long, 43 pit boxes. And if you can imagine seven mechanics jumping over that little white wall with four tires, two cans of Sunoco fuel, and a bottle of Gatorade, they will try and take care of business in 14 seconds or so. Now we're gonna we just entered into the tri-oval of our speedway. And shortly we will be coming up to the start and finish line. Now in the tri-oval here to my right, the start and finish line does have a banking as well. Not as much as the turns, but when you get out and walk this, this is steep to begin with. So it is sitting on an 18 degree banking coming up off to my right and I will begin to slow down so you can take pictures of the start and finish line if you wish. The official stand just above it is 23 feet up in the air. That is where they drop the green flag to start the race. Checkered for the finish 